Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we have another easy breezy DIY project using items from the Dollar Tree. Hi you guys, here's another awesome DIY that I will be making from the Dollar Tree. As you can see, these are my supplies. Here are some colorful fall leaves that came in a package for $1 from Dollar Tree. Some clothespins that I also purchased and I used about two and a half packages of these clothespins from Dollar Tree. This green wire leaf that I also got from Dollar Tree. And you can see a pumpkin from the Dollar Tree. Now I got this um, can of paint from Michaels. So I had this actually left over. It's a metallic copper. I wanted a color that was gonna kind of represent the fall. And then I have my glue gun. And so we're gonna make a fall wreath to hang on the door or maybe the um, entryway to a room. I have my ring my wreath already painted in that metallic copper that you saw I've painted my clothespins just the top and bottom I didn't care too much about the size because they are actually going to be so close together that it's really not going to be noticeable and so what I'm going to do is using the bottom two rings all around I am going to start putting in my clothespins. Now, you gotta make sure that they are even, that they're level, and that they are closely, that they closely fit next to each other so that you don't wanna leave too many gaps. And the reason why I painted the um, wire reef the same color as the clothespins is so that it is not as noticeable And this project really does not take long to do. Once you do the painting, I, I did paint on a different day. Um, on outdoors, of course, please do not paint inside your home. Um, I don't even wanna say unless you have super um, good ventilation, but I just suggest that you paint outside your home where it is safe away from kids and animals. Um, and then I let it dry honestly probably just about an hour or so before I brought them back in the house and it was pretty much dry it was a very nice um, warm day so it definitely um, did not take long and as you can see I'm just easily placing these on I am going to do the entire wreath So I just want to make sure that these are tightly placed and that they look even. I want to move them over as much as possible so that I can get as many clothespins in so I can fill in some of these gaps here. gaps I want to fill them in so just play with your clothespins be careful because these are made of wood and yes you will possibly get a splinter or two or clip your finger into the clothespins okay great so I'm pretty much satisfied with the placement of the clothespin okay so now I'm going to take the glue gun and these beautiful fall leaves and I'm gonna make placement but I'm also gonna leave like a a spot for the um, the glue to get onto the actual 
So you want to play with your leaves and how you actually want them placed on your um, on your clothespins because you want to make sure that they all get on in such a way that you can um, glue your, your pumpkin. Okay, so hot glue gun coming through. Please be careful with letting your children and I'm just just doing a little and it's hot so I'm using my thimble that I got from Joanne's they came three in a pack finger guards And it's okay to overlap them. So just for this quick second, I just did four. These are my extras, and I can fill those in wherever. But these are my extras. So now I'm going to take my pumpkin and pop off the tag, of course. See this. I'm going to get some scissors and cut that off. Plot where I'm going to put my pumpkin. Doing a little look around and see. So I am just going to glue it up. Nice big clump in the middle and then on the humps in the back. Get a good amount of glue. Place and hold and then so once I get it on here I will let it dry I really don't need to um, hang it today um, and I'm not sure if I am going to hang it at my home or give it to my daughter But there it is, it's just that easy and just that simple. You can use a command hook to hang it or you can put a nail if you like, whichever you choose. Hey guys, don't forget to follow me on all my social media avenues and click that button down below to like and subscribe for more DIY.